What does it mean to live a fuller life? Live by your rules. Nobody else's. Not mine, because I'm fancy. Not your mother's. Not the fucking world. Your vision of your life by your rules every fucking day, to me, that's a full life. Me and Gary V up in the office. Do rap flapping, walking through corporate. Talks about ownership and leverage. 1800 checks and shout out the marriage. Hello. How are you? I'm super well, Victoria. How are you? Oh my God, I'm doing well. It's Good. wet out there. It is super wet Buenos out there. Dias. Buenos dias. How are you? I've been told from orientation, you know, like you can grow here in any vertical position you want to go in, any apartment you want to go in. So what's like some like advice you can give me as far as like... Email Steve Babcock. Steve? Babcock. Babcock. Our chief creative officer. Yes, I, I, I follow him on Instagram. I so email him. Okay. CC me. Mm-hmm. Say I met with Gary, was telling him my story, told him about this. Mm-hmm. You lead creative here at Vayner mm-hmm. and I'd like 10 minutes with you to tell you like what my passions are so that you can create a blueprint of giving me the best opportunity to be in creative if that's what you're looking to do. Right. Um, but yeah. That's it's literally like that simple. You know, to make such fundamental shifts mm-hmm. um, just takes patience of opportunity. Right. You know? putting yourself in a position for the opportunity and the opportunity then presenting itself. Mm -hmm. And so I think, you know, sometimes that takes 18 months, sometimes that takes eight days. Right, I mean, and by no means, I'm in no hurry to like- I I can feel it, I can feel it. That's the answer though. I genuinely appreciate where we're at with the influencers. Yep. I feel like, like I said, I told you, I like the fact that there's so many different pots boiling all at once. Yep. And there's so many different things to like- Yeah, I don't don't feel the angst from you. And thank you. You're welcome, you're welcome. Such a pleasure. Have a great day. Thank you. You too. Yeah, when I walked in here, like my original idea was, hey, I want to ask Gary if I can pitch him something. But honestly, I don't think that's really the best way for me to do that. Um, what I realized was that the best way to make this time uh, most valuable is to ask, I guess, for someone to call when I when I feel uncomfortable, when I don't know what I'm doing. Because I think that's way more important. Yeah. Because um, products I'm building, I know. So that's what you want from me? Yeah. Done. Okay. Absolutely. I mean, look, the most valuable thing I have is time. Absolutely. Well, you, you know, it would have been easier for me to say yes to twenty-five thousand dollars in seed capital than the answer of that. But look, I think, you know, one of the great ambitions I have with VaynerMedia is that whether somebody works here for a week and gets fired because we hate them. Yeah. Or whether somebody works here for 74 years or everything in between, like a summer in- internship, that they view it as the best ROI that they could have ever done. And so that's why I say yes. I mean, you know, the answer is sure. I built this with a few of my friends. Yep. It's a leaderboard for the 2017 Club Challenge. I love it. Uh, we're going to be ready for launch on Friday. I love it. So I love it. I'll get it out there. We're gonna launch it on Product Hunt, and we're putting out a few I'll, bells and whistles. I'll uh, um, I'll make sure people see it. Yeah. So I'll email that to you as well. My inbox is open to you, brother. Absolutely. I'll email you. Please. Once I'm ready. Thank Please. you so much. You got it. Good to see you. Good to see you too. I got your little present as well. Thank you, man. Lots of people give you presents all the time, but I'll, I'll take them. Really it's the Love Hate uh, Radio Rahim. I love it, dude. That's awesome. For the laces. Yeah. I love that, so man. I, like that. I do love that. I do Probably love that. Probably do with a lot of love hate. Anyway, so. I'm in the business of love hate. I thought it was super appropriate. I appreciate it. Uh, what can I answer for you? Uh, so, 95% of my time is all taken up by law school. Like, first year super intense or whatever. Yeah. Uh, kind of like fell off the map on like social media and whatever. You should just punt it. Yeah, I was gonna ask you. Punt you it. Only 5% of your time to do something. Relax. Yeah. Punt it. Mm-hmm. You can gain it back in five minutes. Sure. You, you've got a task. Yeah. You've got an agenda. Mm-hmm. Punt it. Where do you see cryptocurrency affecting uh, 
business in general for you or whether it is I just think, for like I, countries? And- no, I think crypto is a real thing. I haven't dug deep enough to like kind of put my shit on the record, mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. the platform, Ethereum, the, the, the blockchain, the thought of like legal transactions happening on it yeah. and tr- uh, you know, it's just very real. Mm-hmm. You know, you can't stop technology. Mm-hmm. You can regulate it and slow it down, but you can't stop it. So, intuitively, mm-hmm. I think it's a game-changing technology. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, but I haven't dug deep enough to really overthink it or come up with smart strategies just yet. Mm-hmm. Do you think that you would want to build out things like the Alexa skills and whatnot first, or do you feel like you have to tackle like all kinds of new innovation? No, I. Out? That's exactly right. Like the reason I'm not looking at BR or crypto is like you can only really focus. And so for me right now, voice is the next half decade, and mm-hmm. I want to be great at it. And so that's mm-hmm. why I'm spending more time on that, let's say, than the others. Mm-hmm. Being a college student, I go to Michigan. I don't know if you knew that. I'm a junior I did. Studying sport management. What like value can we bring to like Fortune 500 companies or startups? that can help us like leverage what we're trying to do. Because we know, so many, we have so many networking opportunities, we know so many kids, so many organizations. How can we, as college students, bring leverage to these companies or value? By asking the decision maker what the fuck they want. I believe the way winners win is by going to other winners and basically framing up, hey, I want to jam with you, however you want to say that. I take it in any form, somebody may want to take it in a little more professional format, right? Yeah. I feel like I have an unbelievable amount of knowledge of what's going on in the 18 to 25 universe. That has to be impacting your business. What can I do with that information? How do I synthesize that into something that's valuable to you? Hit me back. Literally on LinkedIn, literally on email, literally on a DM or a private message on social. If you just do that with Mark Cuban down to 337 people that you wanna fuck with, six answer. How do you show them that like I actually have networking people that I can actually meet with when you don't when they don't know anything about your college? Or you don't because you have no way to really show it that because they don't have time for you to show it. I think you have to just go with people who intuitively just call, like, guess. It's selling to the sellable. Mm-hmm. Like the like like Justin, how'd you get this job? DM. All DM. Huh? It was just, I think, timing. And it's of course it's timing. Like, How many times did you try? I was just first like I was just communicating, like building a relationship with D Rock and Tyler. Yep. And then just DM, 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 DM. Do you DM D Rock or your DMs, Gary? Uh, I emailed you, DM'd you, Snapchatted you. Nothing. Yeah. And then eventually you responded to an email and CC'd like D Rock, and then that led to an interview. And I just decided to move to New York City. You just ask. You just ask. The hardest part is asking though. The hardest part is asking with class. The amount of people watching this on YouTube right now that ask me with no class, it's all their value prop. It's all shticky things like I'll help you buy the jets. It's all shtick like if you don't answer this you'll regret it. Like it's all posturing instead of, people are, you're posturing YouTube I don't, I don't want posturing, I want value proposition. Whatever Justin did to make me send a DRock probably looks something like I will work for free for a year and make you videos. I literally said like, I'll eat shit, I'll eat a lot of dirt, <laughs> yeah. something like that. That's also making it very relatable to you, which yeah. is also a big deal. Yeah, but it's still hard, right? Like like last week, Justin complained about DRock's dictatorship and he's right, like no matter how, like, like do you understand? Or maybe he's wrong, the truth is it doesn't really matter. Like. It's eating shit sounds great in thesis. Like when he wrote that email, he's like, yeah. And then when he got an ins- response, he was like, yeah. Like the thought of like you saying to Mark Cuban or Ross or like whoever, like Puff yeah. Daddy, like it sounds great and it's really great for the first month. And then it gets hard. It's still great. I know, it's still, great. Ma- it's still macro great. It can get micro hard, right? Yeah, and so like, right? Like, like how long are you in now? Right, so like the things that, like eight months in, you know, you start having those hopes and thoughts of like, look, I mean, he wasn't filming Daily V eight months ago, so there are wins, and they're big wins if you're older like me, you see it. It's harder when you're younger. Yeah. It's just patience. It's just really, fucking patience, No one has patience, like, already. Just already. By the way, brother, so real quick, let me just like, let yeah. me use this opportunity. Please. Nobody has patience ever. This is not a millennial thing. There's 86 year olds right now. Text your grandmother, she didn't have fucking patience either. Like humans don't have patience. It's why we reward the patient and talented. With the patience, like right now you always say that right now the 20 to 30 year old is your biggest 
like high it's, risk, it's high, time, reward. high it's a, risk, high reward. Yeah, this is the but, time where like I could go either way. If you said to me like I'm gonna go and live in, you know, Cambodia for a decade, I'd be like, I get it. Yeah. Like you'll never do it again. Like I get it. I get it. Isn't that sort of against patience though? Because patience is waiting over time. But this no, is like it's patience to what you want, right? Like actually living in Cambodia for 10 years or Barcelona for 10 years and having fun is the ultimate patience. You're saying to yourself, I'm gonna start at 30, yeah. which means at 40, maybe I'll have some things going for me. Mm-hmm. Actually, I actually would argue that really having fun for the first decade out of school is the ultimate patience if you have ambition to create, you see what I mean? That's what I was ask, yeah. yeah. That's how it is. So there's just a lot of versions of it. It just, you gotta make sure that your actions map your mouth and your ambitions. Okay. Staying on the same track and actually knowing what you Those are. things have to map. Your actions yes. and what you're fucking saying and what you're doing have to map. So if you're like, I'm gonna be fucking the owner of the Jets and this and that, and you're like working seven hours a week and fucking taking 19 years of vacation, that doesn't look the part. If you're saying, look, I just wanna have a balanced life and make a couple coin enough to like get through, like get through, meaning like make 400,000 a year. You can work nine to five make, and make 400,000 a year easy if you're talented enough, developer. Like, there's a lot of ways to do this. My biggest thing is like don't work like me or don't, like, like there's no right answer. There's only a right answer for you. You just have to make sure that you're North Star at all times and it changes at 22 and 31 and 40. Look, I'm about to take a shitload of time off. Right? That, that's not where my mind was at 22, but it is at 41. Your world, life and world change and you just gotta keep mapping to it and, and trading on it daily. I like August, you know, I just like that I can feel everybody's off. That makes me feel comfortable, <laughs> you know? How was your weekend? It was great. I haven't seen my sister in a year and a half. What? She was in Hawaii for the last three years. Wow, that's yeah. awesome. So it was really good. I genuinely believe over the next half decade that this becomes common practice if you guys go big like this and people start extending commercials on Facebook because it makes so much sense in today's double screen environment. And so to me that's, and then leverage culture to create a flame but to me it's all reverse engineering the sale. You know, I'm trying to create Captain and Coke. Like what, like I think we have 16 at bats to create Captain and Coke because that's how you can grow your business and I think that should be the number one agenda with an investment. I genuinely am excited by the random idea that it all falls apart tomorrow. When you can get there, you have to fall in love with the loss. Got it? Yeah. That to me is the ultimate. That's why I just sit like. That fires me up. It's a great thing to fire you up about because then it kind of, you've almost then eliminated everything. Yeah. Because it's not about, okay, now I'm ready to crush Georgetown. Now I'm ready to crush this relationship. Yeah. Now I'm ready to crush this startup. Now I'm ready to crush this job. Yeah. Now I'm ready to crush 30. It's the reverse, which is I've crushed. Now let's just see how it plays out. And we're you know, using a boxing reference since you brought up shadow boxing. How, what you are is you're Mike Tyson right now. You're on the offense in such an extreme. I'm far more Pernell Whitaker and obviously most people know it's Mayweather now. I'm a counter puncher. What would you say as like someone being my age, I'm interested in film or, I mean my mind does change constantly but like you say to taste everything, but like, what would you advise me to take advantage of at my age? To go work at work, work for free or work for money every six months on something different until your thirst is quenched. I, I don't think you guys realize how wasteful you can be with all your 20s in the what everybody thinks is wasteful, but for someone like you, if you believe that is you and you know yourself well, like if it's not just you painting that as a romantic picture because you don't want to make a decision, if that's really you, well then you should go and do different shit for six month intervals forever. Until you can't move from the thing you're doing. Yeah. See, but then I think like, 
there's a lot of, you know, I want to do something and I find myself loving it and then I find myself just loving the next thing and like, you, it, it might it still might, go it with might, the other it might, thing, It like, might be okay for you to do that forever. Yeah, just constantly. You know, somebody might say that you're schizophrenic or I would just tell you you're self-aware. I think the biggest thing is wrapping your head around like doing it your way and just blocking out everything else and creating a life where you don't need the finances to like just, like the biggest reason people lock themselves in is they get into a place where their lifestyle requires a certain amount of income which they can't then get somewhere else by leaving the thing they're doing. Mm -hmm. If you're making $113,000 a year being a something at a New York City office and you're living a $113,000 lifestyle, it's hard to go make 54,000 being an art assistant. My big thing is to go the reverse. Like really, really live humbly in your 20s to allow you to do all those things because then it may unlock your, the love of your life creatively and, and career-wise which then will always lead to your biggest economic opportunity or just life opportunity. Even if the max of the economics is 80,000, nobody at 90 years old wish they made more money. They all just wish they were happier. So what do you advise, like being in film, what, do, what would you advise me to? Cold email every single film person on earth until one of them gives you a job. Just like? Just like that. Like in fi- terms of like creating like, my own content, I mean you throw out millions of things of content, just do that. make my own content, right? That's right. Like literally you should email Steven Spielberg and be like, can I intern for you for free? I'm just keep I out. highly believe you'll not get a response. <laughs> but I think you will somewhere. Yeah. And if just Jed Apatel's in the mood that day, that's life. And then you go out there and like sleep on somebody's couch that you met on Craigslist. And then you wake up nine months later and go, I want to be, I want to live in Mexico and make tequila. And then you DM every <laughs> single, right. and then you DM every single person on Instagram that has a tequila account and say, I want to work for, the, the words I want to work for free get people's attention that matter. Yeah. Because whether they want the free or it speaks to a hunger and ambition, it always attracts an A player. So Everybody gets fancy and thinks they're worth something because they fucking went to Harvard or Penn State or made 60 videos on YouTube that did well. Everybody thinks they deserve something. I, at this point of my career, believe I deserve nothing. That's the fundamental mindset. That's the difference between the winners and losers. It's, they have to create a, a vlog every day for a month. They're following a comedian on a tour bus and they're going from California to New York. York. The main, the, yeah, it is, but it's not. <laughs> because we just need one person. Yeah. Where's Jake? Is Jake out there? Yeah. Uh, Yell for his name. Yeah, right here. Yell him. Jake. Jake. They need to pump out an episode every day. Right? And then you have to live on a tour I know bus. you will. You want to, when is it? From when to when? October. The whole month of October. Okay. Hey Jake. It's a band? Nope, it's a comedian. Good. So you're interested? Good, we might have to coin flip now. Uh, Nate, you got one? Jake, do you want to spend the entire month of October on a comedian's tour bus to pump out talk? A daily episode of a vlog that centers on the comedian and uh, Hearing disability awareness. Oh, interesting. Sure. Great. You too? Yeah. Great. Jake, because I've known you longer, you get to call heads or tails. Tails. Can somebody please record Are this? Are filming it? I think we're I good jet, my jet, jet season. I'm missing Ready? Games. All right, wait, one more time. Good this, is, <laughs> this is, this is, this uh, is, uh, you got what? Tails. Tails, all right. Tails never fails is your theory here? Yes. Somebody's going on a comedian tour bus for the whole month of October. Heads, Justin's gone. See ya. <laughs> cool. Finally, we See you, Justin. Cool, set it up. Kevin Hart? <laughs> <laughs>Nate, you're good at ping pong, and then Alan, I just want to make sure you throw. Uh, I want to throw. I want you to throw uh, some finance person. I'm, 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 be- I'm better than Nate. That's just nonsense. Do you think you're good at ping pong, Dennis? 
Oh yeah, Brad. Everyone, yeah. th- everyone thinks. Okay, no, listen, listen. No, listen. Thinks no, listen Justin's in the room. <laughs> Justin versus Nate ping pong at this place on Twenty Third, uh, and Justin's gonna film it for me. I want to see it while I'm on vacation. <laughs> yeah, that's not a problem. Nate, uh, important question: yeah. Have you ever beaten me in tennis? No. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> but what's our goal for? Yeah. I think I'm like 16 and 0, 13 and 0, 11 and 0, something like that in tennis. And I think you're like 2 and 0 in golf, probably. Listen, everyone, everyone wants to think they're good at ping pong until they get in the ring. Yeah, everybody's got to play until they get punched in the mouth. That's on my wall. I understand what you tried to say there, Nate. Good try. I wasn't going with the quote. Yeah, you were. Nope. You, you didn't realize it. It was subconscious. I know that quote. I know you do, but it was still you were. You were, you, yeah, were, heading, you were heading in that direction. You were heading in that direction. Sense, I get it. I understand. See ya. You know what's funny? There's a lot of talk. What, what did I hear? Is a young man's game? 50 year old. Who was this? Ah, the Defiant Ones. Did you watch that documentary yet? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know when, when, uh, when uh, Dre is like, music's a young man's game? Uh-huh. It was interesting. It's interesting. Like, I really think a lot of 20 to 35 year olds underestimate their pulse on society. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's what this just reminded me of. So, mo- mo- a lot of the ideas that kids have are actually right. They just don't know how to make businesses. Sure. The experience is not there yet. They just don't know, yeah, or the talent. That's like I was 22 and knew how to make businesses, sure. right? So you're right, it's either the experience or the talent, right? Mm-hmm. It's no different than being a crafty vet or coming in the league at 18 and being dominant. Yeah. It's one of those two, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Or both, like Vince Carter, right? Like, <laughs> and then that's why you have a 25 year career, yeah. right? Well, yeah, yeah. That's it, man. Mm-hmm. That's my answer to that question. That's the best way I could answer your question. Okay. Let's have this conversation right now. I don't say much, I'm in the zone, drinking my cup, balance my chi, Hey, mama, I just got a manager now, remember when I caught champion sound, I was in fifth grade, mixtapes, best friends handed me down, became my gospel, wouldn't make a fan of me now, I know too much, that's why I don't say too much, it's the problem with you rappers, man, you play too much, way too much, I don't really pray too much, cause I ain't never like to wait too much, and mama, I know, was never meant to make it on the south side So my skin ain't thicker than some cow high Rappers line up for a ticket with your mouth wide Boss man tell you to jump, you would say how high All that fake shit tickle me now All my best friends sick of me now All my ex-girls figure me out All my new girls kicking me out I don't care what you think of me now Cause I know I don't think people, so people don't want to tell me things that are bad because they think I'd be upset. I'm the reverse. I only want to know what's bad because I know I'm the quickest path to fix. And so like, this sucks and this sucks. And listen, it it can be exhausting. And if somebody's just doing it because that's their nature, well, they're gonna lose. But if you're like, if you're like, this is good, like if it's it's critical thinking, you know, I want to hear it. Like people think they're a tattle or they're like a Debbie Downer, like, I just got done telling Marcus everything's broken here because I believe that. But I also know equally everything's working here. We're the fastest growing thing of our nature in the market, you know? And there's a lot of good. So like, you know, life. Yeah. yeah. Cool. What are you into outside of work? Uh, I like to write. Write, write music. Yeah. Write music. Yeah. It's cool, man. Yeah. Pretty much all I do. <laughs> Is that right? That's yeah. like your jam. That's my jam. That's you like so fucking. I would become an artist. <laughs> but I don't know if that's the path that I'm trying to go down. Have you ever, I got an idea for you. Advice I gave a kid really worked for him. I think you should DM every single artist and just DM them the full lyric. Like you should write. Uh-huh. And th- what kind of music do you write? It varies. Well, I, like, I write for different people but I also write for myself. So. And perform? <laughs> you ever put any of it out? Uh, no, but I, that's one of my goals. My let, me, let, me make, let, me give you, let me do something real nice for you. You write and perform something and put it on, put it down. Okay. I'll use it in my blog. It will get real exposure. Okay. Right. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. You're welcome.
Dude, hit me up. Let's make this. Let's make this living and breathing. You know. It's so cool just to like see how it all operates. The, nice. the it sausage gets cut. It's unbelievable. It's dream come true. Not many people get together to see this inner workings of everyone. How's your day going? Well, busy. That's not the new though, right? That's the norm. That is the norm. So are you doing the meet and greet tonight? Yeah, you gonna yeah. come? Of course. My profile is called Find Me in Seattle. My dream one day is to be able to say, I'm right here, come here right now, and you get free stuff to the business that I'm at. And so I get that from you because it's unbelievable how many people you get to turn up just by saying I'm gonna be here. <laughs> Hey everybody, this is Gary Vaynerchuk and this is episode 262 of the Ask Gary V show. And I'm pretty excited about this. Uh, Ryan Holiday is in the house. Uh, I know that a lot of you are humongous fans of this man's work. I've, I've seen his name pop up now for, feels like about a half a decade. Uh, I like saying that instead of five years, I'm not sure why. It's so crazy, unaware. I don't give a shit what Drake has to say now. I would watch every minute of the three years before he became Drake. All of it. I would consume all of it. Show me the day before it happened. And then you realize it's not a day. The biggest reason I'm doing Daily V is because guys, YouTube, it's not a day before, it's the whole thing. It's just a volume of work that shows you it wasn't a moment, it was the whole fucking thing, the whole process. I carry in my pocket every day, I carry a coin that just says memento mori, which is Latin, it means uh, remember your death, right? And on the back there's a quote from Marcus Aurelius, the, the Stoic, and he, he, he wrote to himself, he said, you could leave life right now, that should, let that determine what you do and say and think. So this could be the last it's the last show I'm on in my life, this could be the last city I'm on in my life, this could be the last book I ever write, you know, the, the last time I talk to my wife could be the last time, and, and you gotta let that determine, you gotta let that shape, death should, the thought of your mortality and death, in and in not in a depressing way, should shadow everything that you do, because it's the only way to make sure you do it right. Boy, do I talk of death, about death a lot, right? Right? It's out there. Yeah, I mean, I talk, I mean, I, the funeral, like, oh, yeah, sure. I believe in it the most, as you can probably know a little bit. Like, I love, I'm glad you brought that up. No, your three words, you're gonna die. Yeah. That should, that should let you cut out bullshit. That should let you uh, decide how you're gonna treat other people and let yourself be treated. And it should determine the quality of the work that you're gonna this do. This happens to everybody in a micro. It's called when <clears throat> police lights go on behind you, you're scared shitless, you change your behavior, then the car drives by you, right? And then for like three minutes, you're like, okay, I'm gonna go 55 now. And then, you know, four minutes later, you're going 73 again. Right. And that's how I think people do it in life. Like something bad happens, they hear something, they see something, and they're like, oh shit, I'm gonna live under the mindset of you're gonna die, like yeah. They've seen my thing, it hit them, for a day. Well, it's like uh, you hear about a friend who has cancer and you think like, what would I do if I had cancer? Yeah. Right? Both. You do have cancer. You're gonna fucking die. <laughs> yes, you I agree. You do have cancer. You just don't, you just don't. First off, because lots of people do get cancer, so there's a real chance <laughs> yeah. that the cells, are the cells are already in your yep. body, right? Yep. But like, you do have a fatal diagnosis from a doctor. He just can't tell you if it's six months or 60 years. But yep. you are definitely 100% going to die and it could be tomorrow. So what are you gonna do with that information? I believe in it the most, my man. Blurry. Perfect. Thanks, man. Guys, one life, baby. One life, do something about it, please. Please use this video to do something about it. Thank you very much. Take care of yourself, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much. Take care, thank you. I went to school up in Boston, but then was living back in Miami and was doing the travel life for work. As I'm sure you know. I get so it. I did. I mean, I'm curious actually how many miles you did last year, but I did 200,000 with America. Tyler, last year. do we have any feel on how many miles I do a year? Uh, miles, top line, no. We yeah. did like 165 flights last year. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> cool, thanks. <laughs> sure, there's plenty. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I mean, being able to. Jesus like, Christ, that's a lot of like, fucking flights. My big thing, my, if you really want the real hack, my big hack is, I just think we're letting things never see the day of light at scale. That in the, like that today, there was 11 pieces of content that are rip shit fucking winners, no prayer. 
Nope, will never be seen. Will not be seen. You know, you know I've said this a million times. Orig- you know, this is all we talk about at this point, me and D-Rock. There's four, there, I met 17 fucking interns today. There's four phenomenal fucking podcasts of advice that will kill. We have no prayer of any of them seeing the day of light. And like six unbelievable clips that are over a million organic reach, no prayer. And 11 quotes, no prayer. Just we have no, we have no system for capturing the, the sawdust, which is like why when you hang there and do no, like we, we're gonna have to, that's the number one hack. But listen, that's fine when I'm here. What is there gonna be another fucking person now that we travel with, like who's just there to, ca- to produce? Maybe, maybe that's, why, maybe that's why there's producers. I don't know, but I know one thing. Every day, we are missing out on 13 things that never become real. And so what happens is my Facebook and my podcast is, is to me stale versus all the freshness that comes out daily and that's that. And that system will work unlike Colin where he needs me for the long form content, like the clips and like the transcriptions and like the podcast original. It's, we, that's what we have to hack. And, and honestly, like even more than ever before, right this second, I think maybe it is the producer. And like, like I just, it's just too much. Like I know what happened today. Yeah. And it's 15 really good things and I'm gonna get one. That's just stupid. That's just not achieving the infrastructure we have. So I don't know what everybody takes away from that but we need to figure that out. You two, how many meetings did I have today? Uh, you've probably gone through. No, how many did I have today? 40, 40 total, top All right. Bottom. Guys, 7, 6.56 p.m. We're, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine more meetings to go. It's been a pretty uh, active day. You learned something today, Justin? Yep. What? Yeah, now you're, you're in trouble. <laughs> you knew that. <laughs> you knew that already. Anyway, that's the uh, little YouTube update. The YouTube 6.55, 6.56 p.m. update. Let's make this a thing. Let's always update YouTube at 6.56. On the way to the Dirty Lemon event, uh, Phil and I made an investment in that company, uh, direct-to-consumer, uh, CPG brand, uh, gonna do a guest bartending. I just found out I don't have to bartend, which is huge, but lots of high fives and selfies and answering business questions, which is fine by me, exactly how I like it. So, hope I see you guys. Um, it's raining here in New York, so hopefully a couple people will show up. You know we build on you anyway. Sure. We gonna dance anyway. Phil, I need your help. I Tell know me where we to build go. on you anyway. So we gonna dance anyway. You know we build on you anyway. So we What does it mean to live a fuller life? Live by your rules. Nobody else's. Not mine, because I'm fancy. Not your mother's. Not the fucking world. Your vision of your life by your rules every fucking day, to me that's a full life. Yo, fucking Gary B, it's so great to meet you. I have an earpiece right now because I'm at work. I'm probably gonna get fired, but I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I wanted to see you and I had to make a hat. Thank you, my man. Um, I'm a rapper. I got my first song on iTunes right now. It's just got all those streaming services. It's Purple After Party. My content is amazing. I'm in a uniform with my tattoos and everything. My image is the shit. I'm networking every day. My dream is to be on Gary B on one of the Vlogs, my song, I'm probably gonna get fired at my job. I had to come here. Oh my fucking god, man, you're the fucking man. I, I, it's risk getting my job. It's risk getting my job to meet you. Gary, I really appreciate it. Besides that, I can't even believe you're doing this. What's two cents that you think I should do to give me an upper hand? More more songs? Yeah. DMing more people. Okay. And, yeah, I watch you like every day. You just like my comment when I wrote when you were with Nipsey Hustle. Yep. And I was like, fucking great minds. <laughs> Dude, you are one of the people that really got me motivated to say I'm chasing what I fucking love. Go at it. I, I really appreciate it, dude. Thank you my so man. much, brother. Thank you, Gary. Sh- connect with Justin. So I'm from the Midwest. Yep. Town of about sixty thousand. Yep. Working with one of my buddies to start up a little local advertising kind of deal. Yep. Smaller businesses. I'm really looking to improve the marketing, but I'm having a hard time thinking of ways to find those issues in a small town. You go. Easy. What's the zip code of your small town? 54703. 54703? Yep. There's your influencers. That easy. That easy.
easy. That easy. So, so when you click, this dude posted this in that town. You click him. He's got 1,500 people. You hit this DM. And, and you just literally say to him, Do yo. I offer him money or yeah. First you just say yo and you try to build a relationship. Like I just did. Gotcha. But literally I just typed in the zip code, right? Yeah. These two girls, right? Uh-huh. She's got 882 followers, right? But yeah. she's cute. So you can use it, right? right? And so like, okay, Instagram, let's do one on one. Right? Go. This dude, 1,500 bars. You literally, there it is. Oh, appreciate it so much. <laughs> Being a fucking practitioner, that's the fucking game. When you can answer questions right on the fucking spot in detail. So I flew from Chicago an hour, two hours ago. I jumped on a plane. I'm going to show you. I'll call you back. I'll probably show you. So literally, that's where I woke up. He's like, yo, he came to me in New York. I booked my Uber and I booked my flight in my Uber. This was five hours ago. Got here. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm gonna... Let's do the payoff. Right. We fucking made it. We made it. We made it. We got here in time. We made it. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm out of time. The audio? audio? I wanted, yeah. I was hoping that you could like uh, give me like a personal message to like, motivate me in the morning. What's your biggest? What's your biggest thought? I got it. My man. I'm gonna make this real fucking simple. I'm gonna make this real simple. What if today was the last day you woke up? What are you gonna do about it? Go do that. We're creating a podcast. Really get yes. shit going. Yes. Talk about biohacking, yes. best yes. practices. Yes. I could really like use your help to pick your brain on, on how to launch it. I got some pretty big guests like lined up for it. It's all it's all guests, and it's you being on guests on others, and it's Facebook ads driving to the podcast, yeah. and it's influencer marketing. That's it. Guests, you being a guest. Yep. Facebook ads, influencers on Instagram. It's a wrap. Now, go do it. Right? right? Like, yeah. uh, that's the strategy. Uh, now, how do you, how good are you at asking 8,000 people to be on their show? Good to see you, man. How you been? Been good, man. Good, man. Brian? Right. Speaking this today and just last week. I'm proud of you, man. Thank I you see so it. Consistency, consistency. I see yeah. you grinding out there. Yeah, appreciate it. Thanks for coming by. Yeah, absolutely. Happy to see you. I was like, wait a minute. I'm not going to see you again until Big Summit because you're coming out. Good to see you, man. Yeah, you good? Good. Um, yeah. Can we get out of Yeah. My man, great to see you. Keep doing your thing. Andrei, could you tell him Andrei if you are good? Andrei, Andrei, listen, listen. If you are good, work. Patience, baby. If you are good, work. I appreciate it, man. I know, yesterday. This is the girl. Yes, so nice to meet you. After all those nice things I said about you, it's nice to meet you. Have you been? Hey guys, I live right up this street, so I was like, I have to go. I'm glad. I have no reason not to. I'm glad. It's great to see you. That's good. Keep hustling, baby. <laughs> I couldn't fucking leave. I told you I was gonna leave. I couldn't leave. You changed your mind. Yeah, I could just stick around and talk to the crowd. That was pretty good. Good right, man. Cool. Real pleasure. Now. You know the bills on the way. We gonna dance anyway. I know the bills on the way. So we gonna dance anyway. You know the bills on the way. So we gonna dance anyway. I think we can. I can do selfie from here on out. Okay. <sighs> Wrapped up a long goddamn day. Seven, eight more meetings. Eleven thirty-three p.m. Solid fucking day. Awesome. You seen I have potential. Cop a couple crib shit coming with the guest room. I let the way you walk. You got the attitude. Me and Bay wavy like we out there in Malibu. His dinner's up and over. All the shit we go through. Now I'm super sane with the bread like I'm Goku. Baby, you've been working so hard. I promote you.